I'm Adrian Kennard and today I'm going to show you how to modify some scales for weighing and uh, make them Wi-Fi connected. So these are the scales. Um, this is the Marsden M125 which is a uh, medical scales, um, very precise, very accurate, 100 gram resolution. They're very nice scales. They are a couple of hundred quid but if you're buying them for home you can ask Marsden to set them up to do uh, stone and pounds as well as kilograms, which all the women in my house seem to want to do. But um, they're very good quality, very consistent, very reliable, and uh, I wanted to record some weight because I've been trying to lose weight. I've managed uh, about 24 kilos um, in the last sort of about nine months, so not doing too bad. But I wanted to, to plot it on a graph, so I wanted to get the data out of it. Now, my first thought was there is a USB port here and um, so my first thought was quite simply to connect the scales to uh, a Raspberry Pi and collect the data that way but that's a bit of clutter it's another lead another Pi another power lead it, it's it's a bit annoying so I thought I'd try something better so what we're going to do today is we're going to modify the scales and the first step is to add a header to the circuit board and before we can do that, we have to take it apart. There are actually four screws under little rubber feet underneath and one under a seal underneath. Um, it goes without saying, if you're taking your scales apart and soldering bits to the circuit board, you are probably voiding the warranty. I am wearing my anti-static strap, by the way, obviously. So we've taken the screws out, what next? Uh, well, we may as well remove the battery compartment section as well. This can run on a battery. Let's get this out before we go any further. And we lift this up. And the first thing you'll see is this is rather tight. And you're going to need a knife or something because this header is locked in. And without getting in behind it, you don't get it out. Right, so good idea to remove that before you start, otherwise you can't get at everything. So this is the circuit board. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add four wires to the circuit board and put them as the header on the circuit board. What I'm using here is I've got some pre-made cables and I'm going to use four of these. And I'm going to go for some vaguely sensible colouring on these. So I've now got uh, four colours and the idea is to make a pre-made header that we're going to stick on the board so we can put a connector on. Now we need to find somewhere we're going to be able to put the connector reasonably sensibly. So I'm thinking there will do nicely actually. So that'll be a little header, there's plenty of space in the board. I can then put a cable on there quite nicely. So that's the first challenge is a header. So uh, the first thing is I'm going to plug this into an actual cable. Because those are all individual. I don't want to uh, have them misaligned so they won't plug in. So the idea is we're going to be able to plug, plug in there. And then I get super glue. Now we'll spray the board with the activator spray first. Apply super glue to the back of the connector. And carefully place it where I want it on the edge of the board. Now the super glue should set instantly. I should be able to get my header off. So there we have, there we have the header that we're going to apply. We're going to connect four wires to the board. Two of them are on this side, we can get that done first, and then the other two are on the other side, which is a little harder. Now conveniently, we have ground and VCC, and these are the two we're going to connect this side. That's the ground and VDD connected. And at this point, we now need to connect the wires on the other side, which is a little harder. We need to unscrew the panel from the back. It's clipped in at the top and we, we take it out and there's, there's an LC display on the other side. Uh, this is connected with a ribbon cable. So we're gonna need this to stay in there in its little clip in the right place while we're working. On this side of the board, we need to connect to 
the top of this little chip here, which is the serial lead, and the send button, which is this button, so under these tabs here. Okay, the serial wire is going to connect to the top pin here. Like that. And the other lead goes to the button here. So that's the two leads on that side, one on that button there and one on that pin there. Okay, having connected the wires, we now need to put the whole lot back together and check it still works. So the LC display is still in there. This fits in. clips and onto the screw holes and then we reinsert the screws. So there you have it. We now just need to plug it back in. Yep. Seems to work. So we're now ready for the computer part of this. Once again, a nice bit of ribbon. Uh, you'll notice I've actually changed it slightly um, because the other one actually snapped off annoyingly. We've got a four pin lead. What do we plug in to this? Well, the answer is one of these. This is an ESP01. It's a small microcontroller with Wi-Fi. Very easy to program. Uh, I programmed mine using a simple USB widget. The ESP01 goes in there. Plug it in USB so uh, socket, I've got a little button on the back to put it in flash mode, program it, it takes a few minutes, job done. And uh, we connect it up to this, so we connect 5 volts, which is the red one, we connect ground, which is the black one, and we connect receive data, which is the white one. I'm going to leave that fourth lead unconnected at the moment, we just need the three wires. Uh, I'll come back to that fourth lead in my next video on this. And so let's, uh, let's put it back together. Okay, so there you go. Um, I could position it in the battery compartment because I'm not going to use the battery. But if you wanted to use the battery, this would actually fit very easily against, just with a double-sided sticky against the side of something and fit in the case quite nicely. So let's just position that nicely through there. together nicely and shove that in the battery compartment. Now before I uh, put it together I'm going to check that it still works. It's looking good. Okay so it's reading zero and if I put my foot on it it's showing weight and what we're going to do is we're going to press the send button in order to send a weight and that will send the weight over MQTT over Wi-Fi. Simple as that. So basically I've Wi-Fi connected my scales with the aid of a couple of wires and an ESP01 chip, which is about half the price of a USB cable, which is crazy. But uh, there's more we can do, as you'll see in the next video.